little better. Hello. Our girls are gonna lose their winter coats today. Should have been a cowboy! Oh, pretty girl! Not this way. That way. Good morning. This week the weather has been glorious and I really actually think it's just been having some sunshine. It has been the gloomiest, grayest few months. Up here in Canada, we can handle the cold, we can handle the snow, we can handle winter if there's sun. We have to head back to London today, but I thought I would just catch Carissa here before she started feeding and get that ram treated and then check, check on our little lamb again. He was up and walking good last night, so. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking it wasn't polio. I'm wondering if it's got just a touch of pneumonia. That first one was three quarters full. Oh really? Yeah. Not but the back one was empty. Oh, see, so now they're all the same. So that weird. one was empty the other day. I know, because usually the back one when I was lost. Not that I do it all the time. Just want to take a boo at my little man here and see how he's doing. Can't find him, which is a good sign. He was in that corner. But there's no one there. Laying down. I think maybe it's this one. You buddy? Oh yeah, that's you. How are you doing? It's a little better. Yesterday I did end up giving him an antibiotic too, just in case he is just a little suffering from some pneumonia. Which with this weather, it's been uh, sort of up and down. Oh, he's drinking. It's almost the same size as mom. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about that. If he's wanting to drink, that's a good sign. These are the lambs I've been waiting on actually, so they're about... I think they're six weeks this week and the older ones are eight. So I, I like to wean at eight weeks, but I was waiting at least another week for these guys just to catch up a bit, but they look really good. Yeah, let's get to the laser 
double on that second. It's like a gap off the wall. Yeah, it's a chunk. Half an inch at least, wouldn't you say? Watch behind you. Yeah. 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 Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday morning. It is not sunny. It was nice while it lasted. Today I'm on chore duty. Chris is taking today off, which is great. I love, I love being able to give her a weekend off when she's also off at the dairy barn. So every other weekend she usually gets the full weekend off there. So I like to coincide my weekends with hers. So then she gets a full break, but she wanted to work yesterday. So I'm like, okay, we're just doing sort of bare minimum also treating my ram. I think I've only got like, today's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like three days after today. And then he's done with his treatment. We're heading back to Jack's. Um, I'm a little concerned. Jack uh, texted us when we were on our way yesterday saying he was sick as a dog. And I'm like, great, don't wanna get sick. We've sort of somehow not gotten sick. Anyway, we're in close proximity with him and I woke up this morning and I couldn't taste my coffee. And I'm like, uh-oh. All right, let's get some chores done. No idea where the little one went. Murphy's Law, when you are in a hurry to get chores done, something always breaks or goes wrong. I was on my last load, second last load, second last load of feed, and my belt quit working, like my unload belt on the mixer. And I'm like, what's going on? I checked the breaker, I checked the overload on the motor, I checked the belt, checked all the things. I'm like, what is going on? I couldn't figure it out. I thought maybe the feed was too heavy on the belt, so I took the feed off. And then there's only one thing left, which is feed that gets jammed up underneath in the roller, which we usually have to clean that out like twice a year. And I'm like, oh, it's been a while since we've had to do that. And it takes so long. So anyway, it's all working. It's good now, but I'm so behind. We're going to be so late getting to Jack, so I don't know what's going to happen. Ladies. Hey Ruby. Hello. It's 
Scusis. This is not the first time you've had to do this. side jack on the pretty impressive in the left hand Good morning, it is Monday and my day is already planned out for me, which is crazy. We treated that ram, so there's only two more days for him and loaded up my truck with some wool. We are heading to Mariposa. This wool should last them for 2024 and 2025 to make like needle felting kits and stuff. The good thing is we didn't have to take the trailer because they didn't need as much as we usually bring. And then the rest of the wool I'll have to stockpile and uh, we'll use that to get spun in Montreal. So yeah, it's gonna be a long drive, which means I gotta get my audiobook going. I am reading, currently reading through my ears. Air of Fire, I believe. Petra murmured, eyes also on the tunnel. And if I am. Just getting back. It is now quarter after four. I've been on the road since uh, 8.30, I think, this morning. I need a little stretch. I had a really good chat with the ladies at Mariposa. I think we have all our I's dotted and T's crossed for fall 2024, winter 2024. Um, we've got some really cool stuff sort of brewing. She's already got a list started for 2025. It's nice to have another creative to help me when I'm 
sort of in a slump that way. And uh, Cherie is that girl. I just, I love bouncing ideas off her. So I think we've got some pretty cool things for this year and even uh, starting the process for next year. Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta message Charlie to make sure that Shearing is still a go tomorrow. Hopefully he is feeling better than I am right now. I'm pretty stiff. I have gone down a few rabbit holes on Instagram lately and this is my new obsession. It's like uh, yarn embroidery on sweaters, so... I'm obsessed and wanna learn how to do this. So I did go to the thrift store the other day and I picked up some pretty nice little sweaters to practice on. And I have, I'm not gonna use my yarn because everyone says if you use real wool, it might actually felt. So I picked this up a couple years ago when I was trying my hand at crocheting. So I'm gonna see if I can follow this tutorial. It's literally like a 30 second video. I think she's got chunky yarn though. Good morning. So the video that I took my little tutorial off of was literally 30 seconds. She did a heart in 30 seconds. It took me four hours last night and about 10 retries. And I ended up getting hearts that sort of look like hearts, but sort of not. Also sort of looks like Mickey Mouse. And then when it was all done, I lifted it up to like admire or criticize and realized that I indeed sewed it on the back of the sweater. So, yeah, thankfully this is a thrift sweater. I can take this out, but it's sort of a mess inside. Yeah, this is a lot harder than she made it look. I think fatter yarn would have been ideal. And I have some, I just can't find it. Fun times. Well, it's supposed to get pretty cold over the next few days and even a uh, pretty big chance of snow, I think Thursday. And I'm pretty sure I left the one water line uh, flowing for my market lambs when I sorted last week, just like a quarter of a line. So I wanna shut the water off because there's no lambs on that side and uh, just clean out that water line. So as to not have any lines that freeze and snap. Thinking ahead. It's so quiet. I think it's this guy here. Perfect. Update on our uh, pasture pond. It is dried up. It is gone. The water is gone. Yeah, this weekend there was still some water in it, so it has fully drained. Wow, it's crazy. I can't believe it was way up to this gate here. It was up to here. You can sort of see the <laughs> grass flattened. All right, I just got all set up for Charlie. He should be here in the next half hour, I'm thinking. So today is Willow's group, Willow and Red, little besties. They are due to lamb here, uh, like beginning April 1st. So we are about seven weeks out. I usually try to shear them about eight weeks out, so two months, uh, and then hoof trim and vaccinate around that six week prior to lambing mark. 
So we're gonna be we're gonna be right with our hoof trimming, but we're gonna be just a week a week later with our shearing, and that was only because Charlie was injured last week. So our girls are gonna lose their winter coats today, just in time for a snowstorm Thursday. <laughs>
All right, we are all done for the day. It is uh, dark, almost. My ladies look great. Look how white they are. What you'll notice today is I did not lice treat them. And what I'm gonna do is run them all through tomorrow, just as a group, lice treat them just as its own job. And I actually hadn't done the ewe lambs either that got sheared by the ladies here a few weeks ago. I wanted to wait and put them on the same schedule as these guys. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do both pens tomorrow and then two weeks later I'll have to lice treat them again. It's a double dose. I also didn't lice treat them because I was trying to keep my distance from Charlie. I have been declining all day. I am I didn't sleep well last night and I have a really sore throat now and I've just like gotten weaker and weaker as the day progressed. So yeah I'm starting to feel really terrible. I think I'm gonna just shut the lights off. I just fed them quick here. We can't feed them till after they're sheared. Oh God, doesn't that look good? But uh, I haven't even cleaned the floor and I know Krista does it every morning so I might just throw her a text and say, I just feel like trash. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna leave a mess for you to clean up. Unless I beat her out in the morning but I doubt that will happen. Anyway, wow.